Did you know that most traders have no idea that Windows is quietly slowing down their charts, adding tiny bits of lag and creating instability? But with a handful of simple tweaks, the ones I'm about to show you, your trading platform can run noticeably faster, smoother, and more secure than it ever has. And the crazy part is this, every single trader using Windows 11 can benefit from these adjustments. Doesn't matter what platform you trade on, these will boost your performance immediately. And just so we're clear, this isn't a full list of every single tweak under the sun. I made another video with some other tweaks and I reserve the right to make future videos. But these are simply some of the highest impact settings that almost every trader overlooks and they'll make a massive difference. But before we touch anything, and this is very important, you are going to create a restore point. This gives you a clean snapshot of your system that you can instantly roll back to if something feels off later. Please make sure you follow this step. Don't be the guy who doesn't follow the instructions. All right, go ahead and click start and type in create a restore point. Open the result with that name. Make sure protection is turned on on your main drive, usually the C drive. If it's off, click configure, turn on system protection, and then click OK. Now click create. Name it something like before Windows tweaks and add today's date, and then click create again. In a few seconds, your safety net is ready. So if you ever need to revert back because something gets hosed up during these tweaks, you can roll it right back to the state it is right now. Now let's get your system dialed in. First up is your monitor's refresh rate. And this one surprises traders every single day. Did you know your charts can feel slow or even sticky? Not because of your broker, not because of your platform, but because Windows is secretly forcing your high refresh rate monitor to run at just 60 Hertz, which is like the lowest setting. Let's see what you're actually running. So go ahead and right click on a blank part of your desktop. Click display settings. Scroll down and click advanced display. Now look for the refresh rate. It's stated in Hertz and many times it's next to the resolution. Whatever number you see, 60, 75, 120, 144, that's the truth, not what the monitor box says. And a lot of times it's not what the manufacturer claims. This is the real speed your charts are updating at. Hertz is how many frames per second. Now here's how you actually fix it. Inside that same advanced display window, you will see a drop down menu labeled choose a refresh rate. Click that drop down, select the highest value available for your monitor. That's it. Once you select it, the screen will blink for a moment and now you'll be running at the correct refresh rate. And if you have multiple monitors, you'll need to do this for each one individually. At the very top of the advanced display menu, there's a selector that says select a display. Go ahead and click display one, set its refresh rate. Then click display two, set its refresh rate and then click display three and repeat the process. Windows does not automatically apply the correct refresh rate across all monitors. You have to set each screen manually or Windows will happily leave half your setup at 60 Hertz, which again is the slowest rate. If you wanna double check that Windows isn't lying to you, open a browser on any display, go to Google and search refresh rate test and use something like the first one that comes up, test UFO. It'll show you your live refresh rate. If your charts ever hesitate during volatile moments, this setting is usually the culprit. The next setting we wanna look at is mouse acceleration. And this one destroys precision for traders. If you draw trend lines, zones, or you adjust your orders really quickly, use the dome, you do not want mouse acceleration on, you don't want it on. Here's how you turn it off. Click start, go to settings, click Bluetooth and devices, click mouse, scroll down and click additional mouse settings. Then go to the pointer options tab and uncheck enhance pointer precision and then click apply. Here's why that matters. 
Mouse acceleration changes how far the cursor moves based on how fast you move your hand. This means your drawings feel inconsistent, your hot adjustments overshoot, and your muscle memory on your mouse hand never settles in. Turning it off gives you predictable one-to-one -one movement immediately. It'll add tremendous precision. Now let's switch your system to the best possible performance mode. Most PCs are plugged into the wall all day and something called the balance mode just holds your CPU and your processing power back. Here's how we're gonna change it. You're gonna go to start, then go to settings, click system, then click power and battery. Find power mode, set it to best performance. This keeps your processor awake, responsive, and ready for sudden spikes in market action. Your trading platforms load faster, your charts initialize quicker, and your system stops doing that slow waking up routine during news. Now, before we go on, quick reminder for you. If you want the complete blueprint for building or upgrading a trading computer, what processors, the amount of RAM you need, graphics cards, storage, cooling, everything that actually matters for traders, grab my complete guide to trading computers. It's completely free and the link is below in the description. Now let's talk about something called file extensions. Windows hides them by default, which means you can't tell whether a file is a real PDF or it's a dangerous executable file pretending to be a PDF. Now here is how you fix that. This is important. Open File Explorer, click View, hover over Show. Now click File Name Extensions. Now you'll always see the real file type. And if you've ever loaded something like statement.pdf.exe, you'll know immediately it's trouble. Be careful of anything you download that's a .exe. Many times those are malicious or those are viruses, which is why you want to take a look at those file extensions. Next is your privacy and security settings. Windows loves to feed you ads, suggestions, personalized typing data, and a whole bunch of tracking features that you don't need on your trading system. They are a distraction and they slow you down. And here's how we fix that. Go to start, open settings, click privacy and security. Now scroll through each category and turn off anything related to ads, suggestions, recommendations, typing personalization, and activity tracking. Just go ahead and turn them off. This will keep your trading computer clean, focused, and free from unnecessary background processes and also keep you distraction free. And while we're there, let's enable something called reputation-based protection. This is extremely helpful for traders who download indicators, tools, scripts, or older platform software. So again, go ahead and click start, go to settings, click privacy and security, click windows security, click app and browser control, and then click reputation-based protection. Turn it on, then, Click reputation-based protection settings. Turn everything on in that list. These settings won't interfere with legitimate trading apps, but they will block the garbage before it can launch. And that's it for today. These are a few tweaks that make the biggest difference right now. Faster charts, smoother execution, better stability, and a little extra security on top of it. And if this helped you out, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and it shows me that you want more content like this. And if you haven't grabbed it yet, make sure to download my complete guide to trading computers. It's free, it's detailed, and it will save you from expensive mistakes. Also, check out the latest computer that we have on sale right now. One thing I wanna mention, I'm gonna make a video about this next. Inflation has taken over. RAM prices are skyrocketing. They're up 250% in the last six to eight weeks. I'm doing my best to hold prices as they were just using the limited inventory we have left. I've put a special link to our current sale in the description below. All those links are there. Go check them out now. Definitely watch this video next. And as I always say, may the trend be with you.